5 volt output and provide 5 volts to this 328P 18 mega. Um, which is made by Atmel AVR. Now, next step, we've got to provide a link from <laughs> from here to the reset pin wait oh gosh uh <laughs> okay <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous because it's so small and I have to fit a lot of stuff in here it's funny to me I don't know why This is not red. This is orange. Here's another red. Okay. So This one's got to go <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um All right, first things first. Let me chop off this thing with Bob. I'm gonna strip this. What is this I see? Um, well, we got here is the Arduino, Arduino Uno, and right here, this little black square on here is a AT Mega 328P, which is the same as this. They're just a different form factor. This is a tinier version of this. I bought this larger version of this little chip because it's easier to solder onto. But it does the exact same thing. They're identical. Um, it's called the AT Mega 328P made by Atmel AVR. It's a microcontroller which is a entire computer all inside one little IC. Um, it's got RAM. It's got hard drive space. It's got a microprocessor. It's got timers. It's got everything. It's got registers. It's a computer in a single chip with no moving parts. It's called a microcontroller. It's a very important thing for the field of robotics. I'm going to have hundreds of these in my robot. Um, So this will go from reset. <laughs> Gosh. This is so stupid. From reset. It's going to fork? No freaking way. That is ridiculous. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Unbelievable. Holy cow. I don't even know what order to do this in. Um, you know what? I'm going to solder on the resistor first. Because this is going to be... You know what? I need to have magnification even. Like, this is getting real. You know it's getting real when you gotta pull out the magnification. I am Lewis's superior.
so I shouldn't have a problem. I said the microcontroller has a microprocessor inside it. This is going to be interesting. Oof. All right, I did it. Uh, hi, Terex. There you have it. What do you think, mailbox, good or bad? Note the size of my human hair next to it. This is very small. I'll put like my fingernail next to it so you can see how small we're talking about. Huh? This is very small. It's a little thing sticking out, but it's all good. Okay, so I actually balanced the helping hand on my stomach, as you can see. And that puts it at a perfect distance from my eyes. Mediocre, you sons of bees! I'm about to kick somebody's butt.
I woke up in a new boo, got it. Um. We need a T. Alright, I'm ready to make my move, my next move. It's like playing a game of chess, man. I mean, it's not that hard. But it's still like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe this feeling. Um... How are you going to program this large AT Mega? Well, I'm going to <coughs> this whole wiring direct or this whole wiring purpose is to enable me to upload a bootloader from my Arduino board here to this microcontroller. So I'm following that wiring requirements guide or whatever which I drew out um, in Photoshop using my own way of drawing schematics that I feel comfortable with reading and understanding it's almost like note-taking when you draw your own schematic anyways Alright, um, I did burn up the insulation a little bit, but it's 
I think we got a good joint here. Alright, now I do. So there's my little tea I made. Wait, is that the tea I just made? No! It's here! Um, it's where my thumbnail is here. There. What do you guys rate that? I know I burnt the insulation, but that's because the width of the soldering iron was wider than the gap between insulations, so it was obviously going to singe it, but that doesn't matter. The insulation's irrelevant. Everything's going to be wrapped in insulative tape later on. I'm not going to tape anything, though, originally. Actually, I might not even wrap it. I don't know. Plus, I've been considering, like, painting it with urethane, painting joints. I don't know if that's something you can do or not, but, like, that's what they do with magnet wire and um, transformers and stuff. Seems like it would be... a cool way to, like, be able to still see your joints, make sure they're making good connections. Since they wouldn't be hidden that way. Okay. So we got the resistor, and then we'll bust out the T next. <laughs> the one pack is not spilling into anything. A flame bot? No. What? Why would I need a fire extinguisher? Nothing's even plugged in yet. Besides, we're looking at microelectronics. Any fires would be tiny with this tiny little stuff. We're looking at 5 volts. I could put my tongue on this and probably not even wince that much when it's all live. Very low current, low voltage. Alright, so we'll have this coming down to here. But we need a T in there. I think I should put the T first. Um, let's see, where would I... Hmm. Alright, I'm going to put the T right here. Okay. The funny thing is, like, this should give people confidence seeing me do this stuff because I'm, like, the, the newbiest electronics person. So when they see my videos, they're going to be like, oh, if he did it, I can do it. I mean, I am the world's leading roboticist, but that's just because stuff and whatnot. Okay, so then, huh. huh. We aren't going to have much insulation left. Um. Huh, I could put... I got an idea. Ha! 
Ha ha! Look what I did. Boom. So we got... I pulled it all off and then I pulled this little section in the middle. So now I can put my T and my... What's it called? So we got boom, and then... I'm gonna put the T on right now. So this has got to travel a long way. Let's see. It's gonna go from here. Wow, fire as heck. Um. Wow, we're gonna need all of that to pin. 10. Yeah, I'm not going to be cutting this at all. Um... There was a fire in my lap. Who would put it out? Well, Anna couldn't, because that would be too naughty. So I guess I would just die. I would rather die than have Anna put out a fire in my lap, because I don't like naughty. Guys, I would tell you what I'm making, but I'm not allowed to say. So I'll give you one hint. Allah Akbar. <laughs> Allah Akbar. That's your only hint of what I'm making. Okay. There we go. There's another nice joint. I think my joints are getting cleaner, guys. It's getting easier, too. With each subsequent joint, it's like... I got this YOLO. Camera, would you be so kind as to focus, please? Yeah. That's a sick joint. Eat that, Lewis. Wow, Terax. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. 
That is so cool. <laughs> Terex is going to sing the song. I woke up in a new boo, got it. Okay. Um. Ooh, I'm ready to do my next joint here. I'm ready to smoke this joint. What the heck? Alright. Hi, Silen. How are you? Um, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. Line up, you son of a bee. Line up, deck, nab it. There we go, that's pretty good. I'm too much of a perfectionist to tolerate that bend. There. How about now? Yeah. Okay. I can live with that. I woke up in a new book at it. Okay, I'm not even going to show you that joint. You'll just have to trust me when I say A+. Plus. It was an A+. Plus effort. Um, that joint was a little too sexy to show on Twitch. I might get banned. For lewd content. Finally, somebody gets one over on the Steeler ship. Good job, Terex. About time the Steeler ship has to take one. After all the times they've ripped us all off. Terex is getting even for us. Okay. So now... This will go... Hmm, actually... Let me 
trim this a little more. And then pull from there. Oh, not doing that pull. Too risky. There we go, that came out right off. Hi, Miss X, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Because I'm killing it. Oh. Oh.
Alright, that was a good joint. My issue was um, just too much old solder on here. I should um, wipe it off and put fresh solder on it for each joint, I think. It was like really like crusty solder stuff that was messing me up. Okay. But we got it. Yeah, that's good. Um, wow. I don't feel so bad now. Look at this. We got our whole red part done. So we got um, analog VCC on the right here. And then we got um, a reset pin right here. We got this long wire coming off it here, which will plug into pin 10 on the Arduino. And then we got a reset resistor here. And this is going to go to 5 volt out on the Arduino. So, yeah, looking good. <laughs> Jack of working is not my current inspiration. I got bullied in school. Okay, so now... Um... What's next? Wow. That felt anticlimactic. So this will go into 5 volt, this will go into pin 10 here, and <laughs> so funny he's just like writing up, up here. This is called dead bug electronics, where everything is just like little bug legs everywhere. Just craziness. I love it though. That's how, that's how I like it. Gotta trim this bad boy. Alright, 
Alright, we're Gucci now. I feel like... Okay. Okay. That's way easier, man. Just come at it with a dry iron and then just use solder right then and there. Boom. That was a beautiful joint, man. Too pretty of a joint. Can't even see where they join. It's ridiculous. I'll show it to you guys. almost too pretty. Look at that bent leg of the crystal joining into the black wire. You don't even see the joint. You can't see it because it's like just so smooth. It doesn't even look like it's soldered. That's a clean joint right there, man. You can't even see a bead of solder. It just looks like they just somehow become one at some point. It's unclear where one stops and where the other begins. Okay. <laughs> Bye memes and my Um, let's see. Give Mike a spanking. Just kidding. Uh, seven, eight, nine is the crystal. That's one, two, three, four, five, six from the bottom. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, you just skip one. Okay, so it's here. Like that. But, I don't think I'm going to solder that on until later. Next thing I should do is... Um, let's see. We got ground, and then Okay. Um. So now this will go into a capacitor. It is a 18 PF to 22 PF. Um.
Um, where were we? So, nobody answered why I had an underline. I don't know. I give up. All I know is, in this case, that doesn't hurt me, or whatever. Whatever. We'll just leave it a mystery. I, I'm not interested enough to, like, read too much more about it. Plus, you guys didn't come here to watch me read when I'm doing electronics. The underline marks the voltage rating? What? All it says is 22 with the underline under it. So I don't see how that's voltage rating related. Um... I take it you know stuff, by the way. Welcome. People that know stuff are very appreciated because I am new to electronics. Not actually that new. Kind of like end of freshman year engineering, electronics engineering. I'm like second semester, not first semester, which is pretty cool. Moving on up, moving on up. Okay. Let me minimize that. Um. I tell you what, I'm probably better than most electronics engineers at working in a comfy way, basically laying down, working on my stomach. I challenge any electronics engineer to be more comfortable than me while working. They will fail. They will all fail. <laughs>
<laughs> this looks so funny, man. Okay. Show you guys the result here. I feel like I need a needle nose just to hold this up to the camera. It's so small, this stuff. Alright. There we go. We got our crystal and our capacitor and now I just need to do that on the other side of the crystal well let's see